one that falls out of the <laughs> roof and it's just it's always one. So now nah, let's leave um Tom Brady, man. It's, it's been so much talk around Tom fucking Brady. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Where the fuck is Tom Brady? Fuck Tom Brady. Where Tom Brady going? Um uh, You know, I honestly don't know. I, I think say. I think he's staying in New England. I, I think he actually England hasn't too. talked to any teams. Yeah. I his, think his Tom people, his people are just out there talking to teams. Tom ain't out there talking to I nobody. don't think his people talk to no teams. That's, that's Not seriously. Bad. I think they just doing that to get the fucking Patriots to renegotiate whatever they need to renegotiate to resign them. Yeah. Like, cause they said the I guess the strongest um the 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 strongest contender right now was the 49ers, and I'm like, yo. They just gave Garoppolo like $120 million. Like, they're not about to sign Tom Brady. Because who? one of them yeah. niggas has to start. The 49ers, yeah, the 49ers are going to sign him. But it's no, between, they were saying he was like the number one. They was the number one team. So it's like, yo. I think it's between New England and Tennessee. And I think he might go to Tennessee because he has Derrick Henry back there who he can just hand the ball off to. And yeah. He's just a fucking monster in the backfield. <laughs> Like, yo, this is a passing play, but you yeah. stay right here just in case the just pocket just, collapse. And I think Tennessee has enough money to probably – I haven't checked their calorie, their salary cap, but they probably have enough money to <coughs> Yeah, a, a good wide receiver for them. They got a couple good young wide receivers over there, but they probably got some money to bring in a solid one. Yeah, and they can go get Dez. I mean, I think Tom Brady can throw to Dez. I think Tom Brady can throw to anybody. Look, look, as I made that joke, Dez is it's not like Dez is trash. Hey, Dez is probably still in game shape. Yeah, like I'm I'm sure Dez is like if he like, go on any team, he's gonna be a contending wide. <laughs> no, nah, I might know something. Oh, um <laughs> like I follow um uh, Ocho Cinco on Twitter. That nigga's definitely still in game shape. Game shape. Well, he been years removed from the game. Like but, five or six. Yeah. Maybe more. But he But I believe if an NFL team called him today that he would burn a lot of these corners up. I guarantee he'll get a, a thousand yards. Easy. Like he he'll <laughs> like, burn a lot of these corners up. So don't sleep on Dez just because he hasn't gotten signed. I don't think Dez has actually been actively looking to get signed either, though. I think he just been I think he's been waiting no, for a team does. to I reach out. No, he does want to get signed. No, no, no. I said I don't think he's been actively looking to get signed. Oh. Like I don't think he's been shopping himself around. No, I think he's not. chilling and waiting for a team to reach out, but still staying in shape just in case. So I think I mean because he's he's probably good. I'm sure Dez made some good business investments and shit. So. Yeah, I hope so. But anyway, back on topic. Um. So yeah, so Tom Brady, I don't know, man. I think he's gonna ultimately stay with the Patriots. Him and Belichick's gonna retire together, even though they don't like each other. And niggas know they don't like each other. It's between England and the Titans. And it wouldn't even surprise me if he goes to the Titans because I think Mike Vrabel is the coach of the Titans who used to coach for. Yeah, and that's like like his best friend or some shit like that, right? Like they're real close. Tennessee has the offensive line to hold him up. Like he ain't got to worry about getting hit too much. Yeah, and then Tannehill is a. He's he's on his way out. Tannehill's Tannehill's okay. Nah, he's not trash, but I think he's on his way out. Tannehill's older. He's. Tom Brady age, ain't he? he no, nah, Tannehill ain't nowhere for that close. Tannehill's young. Oh, yeah. No, nah, he just played like an old yeah, nigga. Yeah, he, he was I mean, Miami. I guess when you play. He was in Miami. When you, that's Miami what I was going to say. When you playing with Miami, yeah, like, so nigga, I would. But Tannehill ain't nothing but maybe 27, 28. Yeah. You know? um, and he's not a bad. No, nah, I mean, we seen okay. what he did in the playoffs. He's okay. You give him like, some weapons, he, but he's just yeah. not Tom Brady. He did all right. If Tannehill could play back up to Tom Brady, I wouldn't be mad at that. <laughs> I don't think Tannehill would be mad at that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the only uh, it's another option for him though. He's not going to the Cowboys. He's not going to the 49ers. The, they're the two main teams everybody been saying. We know that he's exactly. not going to go to either one of them. Like that's that'll be dumb on both teams' part to sign him. I gamble. Vegas has their odds on either New England and the second best team is the Titans. I don't know. Um, I heard the Chargers too. I think the Chargers were thrown in the mix somewhere, but they weren't really high on the list. No, nah, they weren't high, but I heard the Chargers. But then again, I heard the Raiders. So niggas just started throwing whatever team. Although the Chargers actually would make a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, they just got rid of Phillip Rivers. And Melvin Gordon is a free agent, so if they can sign Tom Brady, Melvin Gordon to stay. You got Austin Eckler back there in the backfield. He got stud wide receivers, stud tight end. Get some offensive line to hold him up. They got a stud defense if they can stay healthy, which is the problem in there. But wouldn't be a bad look for him. 
He could probably win. He could probably win because of the championship. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, and then um, somebody was saying who uh, Tavon Austin is going. He's free agent this year. Yeah, who cares? He might. <laughs> we all thought Tavon Austin retired. He's been on the Dallas roster, just tucked away. I mean, and Randall Cobb too, but I mean they both old. So Randall Cobb is definitely old as a bitch. They both. Oh, but Randall Cobb still looked the height last year. Like he still looked like. Know what I mean. I ain't gonna say he still look like a top five receiver like he used to, but the he problem, still the problem gonna he be, still can produce. The issue is gonna be with these old wide receivers this year is that there are so many wide receivers coming out of this college draft. Yeah, this year is crazy for so yeah. Many nah, this year is definitely it's not really your best year to be an old wide receiver <laughs> free agent. You might want to take whatever deal you can get because these young college niggas is burning them up. Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy, like they are burnt. They're burning people up. <laughs> nah, nah, that's a fact. LSU, so yeah, they... yeah. That nigga, I think Jerry Judy's gonna be number. Like he's gonna be in the top five. Like, and it might, it's a possibility. I think they predicting like, and, and I know most times wide receivers don't usually get picked in the top five, but I think he's gonna. They're predicting like five or six yeah. wide receivers in the first round. Yeah, year. he's oh, he's definitely gonna be in the first round. In Philadelphia, if y'all don't pick up one, you're dickheads. I think um, who else? Uh, what's the boy from Oklahoma, man? Um, don't give me the name of names. I just started drinking and shit. Uh, what's the nigga name from Oklahoma? He from Oklahoma, or he played for Oklahoma? Fuck the Clippers, man. I should have known. I told you before the shit started what was gonna happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, oh, C D Lamb. Yeah. Yeah, that's his name, C D Lamb. I just remember the shit. But yeah, man. Um, Pelicans did their job, though. Shout out to the Pelicans. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think Tom Brady, like I said, I think he's gonna ultimately stay in New England. So that means we got to see Tierra talk more stupid shit on our fucking timeline yeah. every day about the fucking Patriots. Shout out to Tierra. 